Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and this is my from scratch creative layout for the week of October 15th through the 21st. And here I'm just cutting my letter paper in half. And I'm working on a laminated piece of cardstock. These are sticky notes from a couple of years ago, I think, from the Target Dollar Spot. And the adhesive uh, for the sticky note underneath was stuck to the front of it, so they're not really usable for writing on. And so I'm trying to find different ways to use them up because I don't just want to throw them in the trash. So I'm using them to mask my days of the week on this spread. And I'm also using the little page flags to mask the space for the date and the day of the week. And I kind of wanted these to have a banner bunting feel to them. So I wanted them to kind of be off center and tilt it to the side a bit. And I'm just moving them up because I felt like I left too much space at the top to kind of make everything even, even though it's kind of tilted to the side. And here are the Distress Oxide inks that I'm new to working with. So I'm testing a lot of the different colors out. And this is the applicator with the different sponges for the different colors that I'm gonna use. This, I don't remember the exact name of the color. I'll leave the names of the colors that I use in the spread in the description box below. And as I'm applying the ink, I'm having issues with the mask staying down and in place because the paper is so thin that when I barely rub against it with the applicator, they, the um, sticky notes lift. So I'm adding a little more washi tape to try to hold them down. I really need to invest in some removable adhesive or double-sided tape. I just haven't done it yet. So, and I have so much washi tape and some that I don't like that much that, I don't know, it's okay to use the washi tape sometimes. So I'm not really that happy with how the oxide ink is working for this. It's not coming out the way I envisioned it, but like I've said before, I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. Um, I'll just try to make my idea work as best as I can. And work around the little issues that I run into. This again is another color. I I thought this was a different color purple, but it looks more reddish to me. But I'm doing what I can to make it work. And you'll probably hear me say that in this um, layout a lot because I felt like I ran into a lot of issues with this spread, but I didn't want to give up. So with this, I'm blending in a blue color. I kind of wanted this to be like a, a smoother gradient, but the way the oxide inks go down, it didn't work the way that I thought it might. So 
So now I'm taking the black distress ink and adding a little layer at the bottom to kind of ground the colors and the spread that I thought it needed more contrast and something you know heavy at the bottom and it is a Halloween type spread so what would a Halloween spread be without a little black in it so here I'm pulling out one of um, my Tim Holtz stencils and I really like this pattern so you probably see me use it a few times and I'm just adding the stencil pattern with the black soot distress ink And I also think that adding the stenciling helps a little bit with the background and tying, tying it all together. So here I'm removing the mask and you can see in some places where the mask didn't stay down while I was adding the ink and the ink seeped underneath. But I'm gonna do the best I can to work around those. Here I'm just taking a little white ink for the smaller areas where that happened and oh, taking a white gel pen and cleaning those up. Now I'm going to do a little stamping in the background. This is the witch's boot. And this is my black cat. And here I'm gonna stamp a few bats and I'm strategically stamping those in some of the places where the oxide ink um, seat behind the masking. So kind of covering up some of those places. I think once I did this, I only had one space, which is underneath the cat, that I wasn't able to cover, but we'll pretend that's the cat shadow. This is a jack-o'-lantern stamp. And now I'm adding a little more, a few more bats. Stamp above the jack o' lantern. And I'm going to add my October stamp. And now I'm ready to start dating. And I always have a little trouble with these woodblock numbers. It's hard to line up the double digits just so, but. come out pretty nice this time. And now I'm doing the days of the week. I'm using the script days. And I think these stamps are from Teresa Collins. I picked those up last year, so I'm not sure they're still available. 
the Woodblock stamps were from Hobby Lobby and I do think they still have those. The uh, date and month stamps. And now I'm just kind of adding a little, uh, I don't know, definition to the page flag. Kind of trying to give it a bit of a 3D-ish look. Then I'm just adding my little shading and defining lines to the uh, boxes and the top banners. And now I'm starting to fill in some of the plans. This is a bit of a back plan. It's kind of a catch up. Um, so I have more information to fill in some of the full boxes. And most of this is just hand lettering, handwriting. Um, I don't really consider what I'm doing really hand lettering. Um, it's kind of just writing and I kind of decorate it a little bit when I can and it was hard for me to write straight in these tilted boxes so to me some things seem like they're kind of off but again I just leave them it's fine And now I'm doing downstrokes for some of the plans that I've written in. And of course I'm doing my ballet downstrokes. And I just think that defines the whatever you've written, especially the things you want to emphasize and helps it look more of a part of the spread. And I don't know if you noticed me squeezing my hands in this video and the way I'm holding the pen is a little different and I'm having a, a little more trouble than usual writing because I'm having a problem with peripheral neuropathy. So my fingertips are numb through this whole thing. So my hands are feeling really strange. I'm just using one blue sticker from a sticker book that came with my October Sophisticrate. Now I'm going in with the white pen, highlighting a few of the bats that kind of got lost in the, the dark colored ink and the, doing the cat's eyes. And I'm going to find my center and punch and put it in the planner so that's it if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye